he used to get us actually to work, like with the guys. Probably age nine or ten. Ten, yeah. Drilling stuff, cutting, grinding stuff, bending the tube. It's a hard day's work. What do we get? Twenty bucks a week. Yeah, get your get your yeah, hands dirty. And... He didn't know any other way to bring us up. He became a blacksmith when he was like 13 years old. And his method of designing furniture was completely old school, old school method of just actually getting out there on the floor and, and making the piece. I mean, a jeans basically just a rectangle, you know, like it's just clean and minimal. If you don't get the proportion right, it's just going to look off, you know? It's the attention to detail. I remember I used to drill like a thousand pieces of steel one day. That was the job. You know, I'm like, Dad, can't we do something else? He's like, no, you're, gonna, you're just going to do that. I mean, I was probably so bored of doing those. I would draw something, he'd say, too hard, too expensive, not strong enough, it's not going to work. But sometimes he'd say yes, if it was a good idea. Like the new collection, we wanted it to be something totally different so you can actually see through the piece of furniture. That took us about a year and a half to get that looking the way it did. All the joints done properly, welded, grinded, round after round after round to get the thing perfect. In a lot of our collections, somehow the beach comes through and it's, I guess it's natural for us. It was on our doorstep, so you could smell the sea salt every morning. It was in front of us every day. What you design that can go in people's houses can influence their whole life. And that's where you spend most of your time, so it should be a place of happiness.